Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com here. So this is an update video of a lot of things that are going on. A lot of progress that's being made on Stan's work, the EPG, the water fuel cell stuff. I'm just going to get a broad overview of all the things that we've been doing, things that we've been working on. Um, and try to get you up to date on what it is I'm doing. I know I haven't made a whole lot of videos lately, uh, but I have been doing a lot of little testing, wrapping different coils and trying different stuff and pulsing stuff differently and, and trying different water in a water cell and trying stuff with the, um, the injector bobbin with the wire that I have at the moment, um, trying to source out stainless steel wire, trying to, uh, well, the cores will be receiving for the regular VIC, uh, square bobbin style. We should get those in sometime in the next couple of weeks here. Um, the gentleman by the name of John is actually wrapping some wires on the square bobbins for a few individuals. Um, excuse me, and I'll be getting those out to those individuals. Excuse me. And um, also the cells are almost complete. Um, been waiting on machinery. Uh, the machinery is being donated by Rod. Um, and, and his facility and so I'm just kind of on their mercy on when they have time to do it so they're they're able to do it I probably could have done it but it would took me a lot longer and they've got a CNC uh, lathe they can do it in half an hour and be done so I went ahead and they offered and they, they're taking care of that so been waiting about a month for them to actually have machine time open to do it so they have got those uh, complete today well it's Saturday tomorrow is the 29th of April if any of you don't know that's my username Four twenty nine eighty five. You can probably guess. Yeah, that's my birthday, so enjoy. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm not one of those people who like to go around and yell, "It's my birthday today," because oh, I know people don't like it. Just thought I'd tell you, so you would know, because a lot of people don't know that. So anyway, uh, besides that, working on those things, I'm also trying to source out the iron cores for the uh, VIC um, injector. And I also got some more information I'll share with you on a different video. And I also have to make a second video today sometime, I hope, about another man, uh, another, nam, another man named John. And I'll give you his information later. You won't want to miss that video, so make sure you watch it. So let's get started. I got some stuff laid out here to kind of show you what I've been doing. Um, I cleaned off the table. I got all the junk just sitting back here. That's just going to go in a pile. And I'll be extracting uh, those puppies and... Uh, uh, one day I'm going to get some internet time and hopefully somebody can help me. What I'd like to do is gather up a lot of the stuff I have collected and put it on my website and it'll all be going for donation only. So let's say uh, I put up a, uh, a flyback transformer for 2 to, th to $3 or something like that or 5 bucks. All of it just goes straight to donation and shipped to your house. But unfortunately I cannot take care of that all myself. I'm going to need an individual help me with that. If, so if somebody out there would help me with that, let me know be great back to the update all right so some of the coils I've been wrapping this was a um, ferrite core and I have wrapped two uh, pair of 22 gauge wire on here this transformer actually came off of a, t of a rear projection TV it's a core similar to that one right there and I had tried to take apart a whole bunch of those and I have a real hard time. This was about the only one I actually got apart and I was able to get the bobbin and everything. So that's one of them. This is a flyback transformer. And uh, it works really, really good. I have a gap in this one. Originally there is a gap in these. And uh, the permeability on these things is super high. It's crazy. Um, so I've been messing with this. This is by Filer Wound. Trying to do a standard edXA type of circuit to try to get the correct waveforms. And the guy John has actually done that, and I'll be posting a video about him and his work a little bit later, hopefully today. I've been trying to do it for a couple days now, I haven't had time. Um, so that's a bifiler wrapped 29 gauge. Got some interesting results with that, but uh, the, uh, the, this bobbin here, I did finish this. I'll give you guys more detailed information on this. Um, but right now, basically, I've got a primary. And then I went ahead and wrapped a bifiler primary just for testing purposes only, just to have it. Um, but originally, I believe this wire is wrapped on the set on top of the secondary, not within the grooves. Um, I, I I posted for those of you who haven't you know caught up with any of my work. What you need to remember is that I, I do post a lot of my work not via video sometimes, but via just on the forums and keep you updated there. If you're not involved with the forums, please go sign up. Uh, you can subscribe to some threads that you want to follow. It'll send you an email every time, and you don't even have to worry about it. You just get to receive an email, 
and you can go look at what people have written and what I've written. It's one way to keep up with me. So just remember that. If I don't post, post a lot of videos, that'd be why. So anyway, back to this. Uh, I went ahead and wrapped 29 gauge wire on here. No, this is not the correct size wire. I went ahead and did this because I'm waiting on the correct size wire and I just, I don't have it yet. So I might as well play with it and see what results I get. Okay. Pull my sleeves up. I'm getting hot in here. Um, so that is that. I did play with this. I got some pretty cool results, um, but still a lot of work to do on that. That is nowhere near finished. So again, I haven't really published any results or information. Did post some stuff on the forums about how I wrapped the secondary and stuff. Um, that's on there. This is one of these yokes, one of these mini, mini yokes I have sitting back here. And I took part of 24 volt, 120 volt transformer. I just took the wire right off of it and I rewrapped it right onto this. What I like about these is that it is a toroid, but you can crack it in half, wrap one half here and one half here, and then go at it. So I actually have produced such high voltage on this particular uh, transformer here that I have. And it, it used to be a 120 up to uh, 24 volts. And I believe it also had an extra wire for 6 volts or something. But it actually came out of the, the, the uh, transformer came out of a UPS um, and it actually looked similar to that one right there. All right, so it looks similar to that and um, that's actually what I got wrapped on there and I have actually produced so much high voltage on here that it was arcing all over the place and I've shorted out most of these wires, um, which I was very surprised on. This thing puts out a, a decent amount of voltage. Um, I won't complain about it. Once I get the 35 gauge wire, it's going to be much, 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 much better. But, you know, for now. But this thing, you know, this thing did really well. This might be good for testing. These yokes, you can find on the back of TVs. And they pop apart. Easy to wrap. Good to go. Uh, as far as uh, the VIC circuit. Alright, Sharky's been working on a VIC circuit. This is what it looks like. If you haven't been following the VIC thread, please do that. It's called Work in Progress. He just started a version 2 thread. But if you want to follow up and see how this thing is put together, you can do that. He just got some circuit boards in. He sent me one. He's building his now as well. And he's going to test his and um, the other ones. He had to order a couple to get a better price. And also to um, send one over here and see if we can get the same results. Um, actually, uh, John, the guy I talked about, is actually wrapping some wire <clears throat> for uh, his bobbin and a few other people. He's volunteering his time to do that. Uh, that's actually Chris's brother who's also been helping out a lot with the uh, water fuel cell drawing and a few other parts um, so thank you guys thanks for everyone for the for the help um, like I say it's 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 research that's being donated to other people as well and not just you know something that I'm taking on myself because I can't do it all myself so there's a the circuit looks like a mess this is the uh, 30 gauge wire I actually had this mounted right there and then I could do my testing inputs and outputs um, the other two VICs that I had built, this is the uh, 32 gauge wire and the 29 gauge wire. Now here's something that I really wanted to show you. Alright, this is Tony Woodside circuit. Um, if you did not know this, please, please, please go to globalcast.com, that's globalcast.com, and look under some of his stuff and see what he's doing. He actually open sourced his um, circuit board, which I mentioned a while back. But um, he open sourced it and you can build it all on your own and everything. So there's two versions going on right now. And there's some other people that are also probably have their own style. And everybody's working on the VIC. But um, a guy sent this to me. Um, uh, what's his name? Dave sent this to me. And he actually bought it from um, Tony a long time ago when he first came out with them. And um, oh, let me, hold on, let me cut this tape. I gotta show you this. So he sent me the, this in post, you know, the post office, and it came in this box. And his brother, I guess, shipped it out, and he just stuck it in this box. No padding or anything. I laughed. So when I got it, I thought, you know, I'm going to turn this box into a to a, a regular box. So here's my output, my primary feedback, and positive input. And then I just poked holes in here, and this thing's literally just sitting in there. Now, probably going to laugh at me, but... It works. It's uh, it's it's better than what it used to be. But there's Tony Circuit. So when I get the cores in, I will be testing Tony Circuit uh, with uh, uh, Sharky Circuit, and uh, you know, kind of compare and see what kind of results we get. Uh, 
I haven't had a whole lot of time to mess with anything, like I said, but I have been playing with this stuff. But uh, there you go, Tony. So there is your awesome free box um, that you can make if you have Tony's circuit. Or, uh, I think Tony will enjoy that one. Um, some other stuff, some different bobbins here. Fire Pinto just printed off some bobbins. Printed off some clear ones as well. And they're kind of cool if this thing will focus. They are really interesting looking. They look like some weird glass or something. Um, the Fire Pinto printed these off. If anybody needs any bobbins uh, for uh, anybody, individuals, I'm not going to sell the, all of these to a single person. Um, or I'm not selling them, but Fire Pinto sent them to me to pass them along. That's what I should have said. And um, basically, the uh, these are you know, if one individual needs needs one of these. Let me know, and I'll try to do what I can. And uh, anything that uh, goes towards these is going back to Fire Pinto to con continue his. Um, projects on his printers um, because he is going to be printing some of these and he actually printed one of these and I don't know where it went and I'm sorry Fire Pinto but I don't know where it went it was pretty darn cool I think I still I brought it to work to show the guys there is pretty cool thing I left it there but here's these um, so you know inform me and uh, I'll get those to you um, again I only do sell, sell I get one a piece and uh, any money goes uh, to Fire Pinto that's that's his deal, and I'm just kind of trying to help him out. Um, the rustic frequency generator is what I've been using to pulse these coils, and I'm getting some interesting results. Here is the cell. All the rest of the cell parts are in my basement, in my house, so I'm not going to go get them right now. But these are the original style cells, and um, basically the other versions are going to look just like this, except this Durlin will come all the way down to the middle. One solid piece here, and one solid piece here. They'll slide into the tube with two O-rings. And then I'll drill, excuse me, I'll drill my holes, I got the burps today, I'll drill my holes and, uh, you know, set some of these in there. And some of those are also going to other researchers along with the bobbins that John is wrapping. And we're trying to get a, um, the ultimate goal here is to get everything together uh, and have everybody have similar things or close to the exact same thing so that we can get the same results and do the same testing. Okay. Um, I'm running out of time, so real quickly, the gas gun. This weekend, I'm going to be doing a live show, and what I'm going to be doing is working with the EPG, working with um, vacuum pumps and uh, compressors out of uh, uh, air conditioners is what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to try to create an arc in there to get my iron ions and mix it with the argon back here. I will be trying these experiments and doing what I can, and um, the uh, nickel, the cobalt, parts that uh, Russell has sent me. If I can get them out of here. I'll show you what they look like. Here they are. These costed him a small fortune and he was uh, um, he did get some extra ones and I actually sent him a set of bobbins, so fire pinto. Some of those went to him and he sent me these and I owe him for those. Those are expensive so theoretically I owe him if he ever needs something and I got it I'm going to send it to him because uh, those were a little pretty penny for him to purchase. 99% cobalt, and those fit right in here real nice, and I'll be doing some arc chamber stuff with that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you an overview. I'll be working with the EPG, um, and that's what I'll be doing. I just wanted to try to give everyone an overview and tell you what we've been waiting on, waiting on cores, waiting on parts. Um, progress is going, it's slow, but you know, this, this new video I'll be making, you're gonna like about this guy named John. So please uh, watch it, and hopefully I get it today, might be tomorrow. Definitely watch it. Really cool stuff. Um, this guy's replicated the signal that you see in Stan's book, the step charging effect with the double pulse all the way up. It's really, really neat. Um, I've sort of replicated it, but not quite. And uh, you'll, you'll like this, and credit all goes to him for doing that research, and uh, I'll show you all that in the other video. So that's it. Uh, happy birthday to me. Yay, that's tomorrow. Just thought I'd share it, and uh, God bless you all. Take care. Blessings. Much love and respect to you all, and please, always, support is needed. Support, uh, you know, use this thing, go to the forums, post your thoughts there, give your, uh, you know, your information there, and, and uh, just do what you can. You don't have to throw any money towards anything to, to be a good researcher and follower and, and try to do this stuff on your own. It's all about knowledge. you got to gain knowledge. Knowledge is free. I'm giving it all away. You're welcome. Have a good day. God bless you all. Later.